Hang on. Lemire, you called Brock and Sindri the Holger brothers? Aye. But they're dwarves, aren't they? Aye. And Holger are sprites of the forest. Aye. Beautiful, seductive sprites of the forest. So why would you call Brock and Sindri the Holger brothers? Oh. Well, I now realize this would be a wholly inappropriate story for young and innocent ears. Whatever. Another one here. Ah, you know this one, don't you? It's Thamu, the giant stonemason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. It's another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? You have freed me. Who did this to you? I remember only pain, and my queen, she locked me down here, but why? Ah, oh, Sigrun. I must leave you now. I must find her. I must remember. Sounds like your queen is responsible, Head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but she had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Mamir. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible... Then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back? Mimir, why do you have Bifrost crystals in your eyes? A loving gift from the Giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it, too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost Teats. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. I missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light, and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. So, clear this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. 
Thank you. I am free. But why was I imprisoned? We think your queen did this to you. But why would Sigrun hinder our duty? That's the mystery we're trying to solve, milady. Can you think of any reason she would have to do this? No. Without the Valkyries, those who died in battle will not see Valhalla. Helheim will overflow with the souls of the departed and drown Midgard in a sea of vengeful corpses. No greater shame exists for a Valkyrie. I must go. Attempt to staunch the bleeding. Farewell. Is Odin. She imprisoned the Valkyries to defy him. Sigrun hated Odin, no doubt about that. But her duty, her responsibility. Would she really forsake these things to get back at Odin? I don't believe it. I do. Hate is stronger than duty. We have to find the Queen. We have to stop her. I'm sorry, Mimir. Aye. Don't be sorry, lad. Sigrun brought this on herself. Only wish... Well, wishing only gets you so far. How will we find her? I'm afraid I don't know. She could be anywhere, any realm. We'll find her. We have to. All of Midgard is counting on us. Freedom! Where is your queen? My queen? She did this to you. She's letting the dead take over Midgard. This cannot be. I didn't want to believe it either, milady. But we have to find her. Where is she? I can't say for sure. But the rook stole of Alkirs. If the Council of Eight are reunited, perhaps she will answer our call. The Council of Eight. Looks like we have more Valkyries to hunt. Aye, lad. But at least we know where to find Sigrun. But where do we find the remaining Valkyries? Other realms. Good thinking, brother. Muspelheim, Niflheim. Sigrun would have no qualm with interning her Valkyries outside of Midgard. Ah, Niflheim. Not sure why anyone would want to come here. But here we are. It smells bad. Freedom. Yes. You are free now. My sisters, have they suffered the same fate? Yes. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. Like this was our last one. I lad. On to the rook stole our Valkyrs then. If you remember, it's next to the two oarsmen statues on the path we took to Thamur's chisel. This queen of yours, she is strong, yes? Stronger than these other Valkyries we have faced. That's putting it mildly, brother. Then we must prepare ourselves. Mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. 
Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rotor must be beside herself. Well, well. Hilda, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain, she fell defending him during a reaver attack. Olrun was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up a Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Olrun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as the Valkyrie's resident historian. Thank you, friends. You have saved the Valkyries. Sigrun, how did this happen? Lanier, is that you? You have been freed, but... Freedom comes at a price, milady. You speak truly. Countless winters we serve the Allfather, but only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one queen of the Valkyries, the goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. Well, we did it. I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm grateful we were able to set the Valkyries free. But so much of this could have been avoided, if only... You said it yourself, Head. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this helm. Your dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Definitely. Wait, so Freya is the Valkyrie Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was Queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. I never knew how much until now. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside! But what is 
is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. The tree! We're underneath the realm travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Yodanon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like a more giant art. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy, this is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving. What's moving? Everything. <laughs> Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do you... what now? Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach the whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is on a hill. Huh. Not sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your knife. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Another one here. It says his name is Burgomir. I think Mother said he was the King of the Giants. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. Again with the death traps! Do what you do, brother. Ah, it's the other kind. That is so important.
others, I know what I promised. But in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. Standing. On the day that brute force is the answer, I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodenhan. Do you hear that, brother? Lads found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Boy, your knife. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great Aldumla's others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this... in the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how he must never stray from the path. Well... Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path to Jotunheim, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Good. I am more than okay with not throwing ourselves over the edge of the world tree just yet. In due time, boy. Ah, uh, really? 